Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly vlog. This week we're going to be talking about uh, my reply to a random person who filled out my survey on July 4th, I guess. God, how do I explain that in the intro? Uh, Resident Evil uh, Outbreak Online and exactly what that playthrough entails, as well as how Brandon's back and we're going to be doing some Hitman 2016 together. First for the schedule, we have Resident Evil Outbreak on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. So Pokemon's just taking a very short break for that uh, because Outbreak is quite a short game. Tuesday and Thursday, some more Factorio with Truth. Saturday and Sunday, Crusader Kings 2. For 6 p.m. Monday, the Evil Genius stream recording. Tuesday and Thursday, Crusader Kings 2. And on Sunday, Raft with Viznomatic. As for the streams, Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Saturday, we have Evil Genius. Sunday, we have Crusader Kings 2. So before I get into any of the other topics, I was reading through, uh, I have the survey in the description of all of my uh, vlogs, and I was reading through um, responses from people on that. And there's one person who said that they do arts and crafts and they sell it online for a living. And they didn't include a username on it and they didn't include the link to their arts and crafts thing. So I just thought, well, you probably watch these vlogs because you filled out the survey and that's the only place I put it, I think. So in the off chance that you're watching this, uh, link me your arts and crafts store. I'm actually really interested in seeing that, whether you link it in the, uh, the comments or you tweet it at me or get in touch with me on Discord, whatever way is up to you. I just hope you see this. I just thought that'd be really interesting. All I know is that you started watching very recently and you're into Crusader Kings 2, so... I'm guessing if you're watching, you know this is you. Onto the things that interest more than just me and that one person, though. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak Online. Uh, it's it's an old uh, PlayStation 2 game that's really cool. A really cool old Resident Evil game. And the online for it has not worked in a very long time. However, now through the power of emulation and fan-made servers, you can actually play it online again, which I think is super cool. So I started doing a playthrough of it with uh, Play Bogart, who is an old pro of the game, as well as Malaria who has not played it, or at least not until, you know, we recorded this together, but she is really, really into Resident Evil games in general, where she's 100%ed the achievements on many Resident Evil games. And then me, where I'm somewhere in between, love Resident Evil games, played a lot of Outbreak, but I was never some kind of big pro at it. I really recommend you guys check out that uh, playthrough, which is going up today on my channel, if you're into that kind of stuff, or even if you just want to see what it's like, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a really cool game. And I had a couple people ask if there were jump scares in it, just because it is a horror game. Uh, no, I don't think there are any jump scares as far as I can remember in Resident Evil Outbreak. And we are also doing Outbreak File 2, which was the sequel. We've already recorded uh, the whole main story of that game as well, so that'll be going up sometime after. Both Let's Plays will be pretty short ones, because there are only five levels in each game, and we do an episode per level. Before we get into the Hitman 2016 and Brandon being back news, the Patreon shoutouts for everybody pledging $10 and above over on Patreon. Gazali, Mad Librarian, Fiery Biscuit, Zandak, Tokoman, Play Bogart, Night Fury 15, The Jed Star, Jetstream, Conk Donk, Sophia Orc, Kill Rain, Wolf 20 KO, One Savvy Siren, Shauna, Tim, Curran Ketta, Lemonhead, Morgan, Disaster, Josh Brown, Ameth, Thy Lord, Castile, and Annoying Wizard. Thank you so much for your continued support. Hitman 2016, I started that playthrough a very long time ago now, and I had a lot of fun with the first five episodes or so, and then I shelved it for a while. And it was shelved for a lot of reasons. I think I was really busy at the time with other things, and then also I was thinking, oh, maybe I'd continue it with Brandon on live stream, but we were having technical issues at the time, and then, you know, now Parsec exists, and Brandon's back from the military, and there are a lot of things now that make it a lot more convenient than back then. So Brandon and I have already recorded a few more episodes of Hitman 2016 together, uh, doing the Morocco level. He's beaten that game before, uh, but it's his only Hitman game he's ever played, whereas uh, I am I love the Hitman series. I've beaten, I think I've beaten all of them at some point or another. Actually, you know what? I don't think I ever beat the one right before Blood Money, uh, but I am a huge Hitman fan, even if I'm not great at Hitman 2016. Uh, Hitman Blood Money is the only one that I'm really good at because I used to play that obsessively. So I'm gonna be putting up bits of that playthrough sometime soon. I'm not sure when yet. I guess when I'll be putting that up and how soon I'll be putting that up 
depends on how into it you guys seem in the comment section of this video. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I actually have this microphone here, which is called the K669B, uh, which was sent to me by the, the people who made the microphone, actually, to review it. I'm really confused as to why, considering I'm not a tech review channel, but fuck it, that might be fun. So I've been working on a script and been testing that a lot, so I gotta get back to working on that. If you want the really, really, really quick synopsis of what this microphone is, uh, it's kind of like the, the blue snowball, where it's like a USB consumer microphone for cheap. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit cheaper than that right now, and I'm trying to test right now to see if I'd recommend it. Uh, so far, it's pretty impressive, but I need to do more testing. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.